Everybody Boutique and welcome to another segment of Complete Wellness with Cindy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah! So uh, today's powerful quote of the day comes from Margaret Thatcher and Miss Shimani is here with me today <laughs> and she's going to tell us our quote. Watch your thoughts for they will become actions. Watch your actions for they will become habits. Watch your habits, for they will forge your character, and watch your character, for it will make your destiny. Read it one more time, a little louder for the listening audience. <laughs> watch your thoughts, for they will become actions. Watch your actions, for they'll become habits. Watch your habits, for they will forge your character. Watch your character, for it will make your destiny. Isn't that wonderful? I love that. I, I love, not so much as you know, like wordy quotes, mm -hmm. but I love when people can make, I call them impact statements. Quotes yeah. are a lot of times like impact statements. Mm -hmm. um, different from affirmation mm -hmm. statements, but it's still an impact statement. Yeah, you know? it's so, still kind of like a reminder. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Put things into perspective. So today we are talking about the power of quiet time, the power of quiet quiet <laughs> sometimes sometimes and, and I say this with all sincerity sometimes you have to turn down the noise mm -hmm. you know um, I do believe that um, and I've read that somewhere you know how a lot of wealthy people or productive people even for that matter you know had that segregated quiet time or a time where they, you know, decompress or, or gather them thoughts, you know, gather their thoughts to be able to process, you know, strategically what their next move is, you know, yeah. something like that. And and I, I can really appreciate that because I remember for myself years ago, uh, so I was a young mother, young bride. That's a long, just, just oh my God. But anyway, bottom line was, um, I was a young mother, young bride, I was in an abusive relationship, mm -hmm. and I found myself homeless trying to get out of it. So what happened was, um, in the morning, it was so chaotic in, during the day, um, I had to get my daughter to school, I had to get to work, I was still trying to go to school, and then you got all this mayhem under your roof. So it was almost as if I was rushing you know, to get out yeah. of the house, but in the meantime, you know, you're in traffic, you're stuck in my day here, you get all this stuff done. By the time I got to work at 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember a couple of times I was so discombobulated. And so I was like, oh my God, I mean, I just feel like I'm tired. And the day has just, you know, I just got started. I'm already tired. I said, I've been so busy first thing this morning, I forgot to pray. That I remember saying that to myself. Mm -hmm. I, it was just that much going on, I forgot to pray. And so for me, you know, my prayer meditation time is when I kind of calm down. I get my instructions for the day. I get my strategic plans, you know, for today. Some type of, um, I would say, blueprint or roadmap, you know. And um, so what I ended up doing was it, it just came to me just so clearly before I start to move around during the course of the day, before I get my daughter up for school, make that my time, my quiet time. So... Um, because you're younger, I'm going to say this with the most delicacy, it has now been over 30 years that first thing in the morning, I don't need an alarm clock. My body is, is she's like, she does not forget. Um, she's been used to getting them up at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. I get up with birds. <laughs> she does not care what's going on. It's like, yeah, you stay up at 2 o'clock in the morning, you want to, I'm getting up at 4. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But my body, and I think, you know, like my inner core, my spiritual as well is so used to me being up so early, me and my coffee, and I go outside. Mm. I go outside, that fresh air, and I'll tell you that some other day about the fresh air, me and the fresh air. <laughs> but um, that fresh air really does wonders, especially mm. like in the morning, like the cool of the night, the cool of the morning. I yeah, love that. I love, I love that. So I'm out with my coffee, I'm, I'm drinking, and I'm thinking. I'm meditating, I'm talking to him, he's talking back, it's just great. And I remember um, a couple of times I was traveling, I would find me a place where I, you know, I'm, I'm walking, I think the last place it was chaotic, I was up in Man Manhattan for some conference, it was a women's conference, mm -hmm. and everything is busy, busy, that's New York, so everything's busy, busy, 
Um, I leave out, um, I had a, a friend of mine, we were in the conference together, so we were like, the rooms were side by side, so we were basically sharing the rooms. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, she's drinking tea, and I am <laughs> looking for coffee mm -hmm. so that I can have my quiet time. Yeah. <laughs> not, you know, it was like, I can't have one without the other. And so, yeah, that's just my mindset. Mm -hmm. And I remember she's, I mean, she had the TV player. <laughs> oh my God, she had the TV player. Because she watches the news. I don't want to watch the news mm -hmm. first thing in the morning. So she's watching the news, she's drinking tea and, and asking me to have some, but I didn't want any. I wanted <laughs> quiet and coffee. <laughs> Throwing on some sweats mm -hmm. and walking and walking and walking a couple of blocks until I saw Starbucks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be strong enough. The coffee will <laughs> the coffee will be strong enough. Mm -hmm. But okay, now I don't want to sit in here with all this noise. Yeah. Stuff. So I left out and I, I walked another block, but at least I'm drinking the coffee that's kind of you know pulling my nerves together. I am what I am. You know, I actually drink I drink coffee. And so um I finally find uh, there's a there's like an Asian um, 24 hour shop mm -hmm. and outside they had benches and they were on an end where it was so quiet I, like on the bench you know and that was my quiet time I had like zeroed in on the section above the trees that put me in the mind because I can zone out you know we talked earlier about the change of scenery yeah. I can zone out mm -hmm. if I can get um, to a place where nothing below me is moving to distract me, mm -hmm. I can look up into the great, you know, wide sky and just, just zone out and get what I need, you know, to get my, myself going. But um, tell me about your quiet time, what you do. That that was that was uh, what got me started, you mm -hmm. know, with that morning quiet is trying to escape all the issues that happen in the morning and get my mind yeah. together. Um, well, lately I've been trying to wake up earlier so that I can have, like, Time to myself. I'm running yes. off on you from a distance. Yeah, my dad, <laughs> he wakes up around like 6.30 or more like 7 o'clock. Uh -huh. And then if my mom doesn't have to work, she'll wake up around like 8 or 9. Uh -huh. So I try to, it just, it, there's a good feeling about like being up before everybody else. Because yes. it kind of feels like there's no one else but you. Yes. Yes. So I think that helps with it, but I will get up and I like to have hot lemon water in the mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. And at first it was because of, like it helps with your digestion right. and stuff, but now I actually like enjoy drinking yes. it. Yes. So I'll do that and I just journal, like I'll just, I'll write affirmations and like things that I want, like goals and stuff, but even if it's just like thoughts or just how I've been feeling. I'll do that because I think like with quiet time it's also like getting your mind to be quiet Absolutely. so if I can get all of my thoughts out on paper then it's not gonna you know like I'll get overwhelmed about it throughout the day so I get it out so right. that it's not up there anymore. I understand I guess it would can just be because one of the benefits of Quiet time is mm -hmm. it calms your mind and your body. Mm -hmm. And then I've got reduces stress and anxiety. You know, that's a big thing um, yeah. when you've got multiple things. Um, I don't consider myself one that's on a, a hamster wheel, but I do multitask. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's important to multitask efficiently, mm -hmm. not just be all over the place. So um, in multitasking efficiently, I have to be organized with my thoughts. I have to organize my thoughts. Yeah. And that quiet time in the morning when my body's calm, mm -hmm. I can hear and I can hear. You know, it's like, okay, this is how it needs. Sometimes I can be struggling with something during the day. My mom um, laughs at me to this day. She says, well, if you want to get Cindy at her best, you know, call her first name in the morning, even though not people ready. Mm -hmm. But she says her brain is on fire in the morning. Yeah. And it's the truth. Because my, my, my body's calm, my mind is calm, nothing's moved. I don't check a, a text or email or nothing. And it really kind of irks me um, if somebody's texting me too early and it's not family. Me too. You know, just give me. That's it my, feels like I'm being interrupted. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so it's like, um, yeah, I'm up, but I don't want to talk about business. I don't talk about leisure. I read nothing. Nothing. I just want to be alone and quiet 
in my quiet time with my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And it's not like, you know, like a crazy person. You said, oh, she's sitting up there. <laughs> you know, she's sitting up there quiet, looking one way. Yes, I did look one way. Yeah. But I'm very observant, you know, um, of my surroundings. But the point is that quiet time, I rush, 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 rush. I've got a lot going on. So that morning window of mine is very important. There are some times where I'm actually cleaning up early in the morning. Yeah, like, because that about? can be calming too. Yes, like moving not around. Like the action of it, but yeah. also like knowing that like when you start your day, like everything is how it needs to yes. be. Yes, yes. And your morning set, sets the course for the rest of exactly. the day. Exactly, exactly. So it's, it's important. Exactly, exactly. And uh, another one of the benefits that I found, yep, it allows you to recalibrate mentally and to reset. Mm -hmm. That's important. Allows your body to reset at a healthy pace. Mm -hmm. Like I was talking about earlier about brushing. Yeah. I, I can't even really say um, I rush. I've got a lot going on. So to say I'm rushing, no. Because if I know, that's part of the reason why I don't like to head towards the city. Because I know that if I allot 45 minutes for a 30 minute drive, it's going to take me longer. So I'm one of those people, you know, as I'm aging, yeah, I'm not in a hurry. I'll get there when I get there. However, I have set the time where I'm going to get there on or before time. I, right. You see? Mm -hmm. So when a lot is going on and I can't do it that way and I have to rush, it throws everything off from my kidneys having to stop and use the bathroom every five minutes yeah. to me sweating. I mean, all types of things goes on with my body when I'm, I'm rushed. So that's why I just like that chill, you know, ride the tide, prepare. Mm -hmm. When you're prepared, you don't have to rush. You know, mm -hmm. I've been saying that to a lot of people for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so um, also one of the things that it benefits, it promotes mental clarity and helps yeah. you to organize your thought and plan for the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see you yeah. like. It's wonderful. I just feel like it's healthy because there's this, I don't know if it's a quote or something, I don't know, but it's that, what is it? It's like if you don't take time to rest, or if you don't choose the time to rest, your body will choose it for you. Yes. Like yes. if you're so burnt out and overworked and, you know, you don't get your quiet time, even if it's just like 10 minutes, yes. that's when you start getting sick, yes. headaches. Your you immune know, system is bad. Yeah. You like, catch everything that's flying by. Yeah. So like your body will let you know that you need yes. to rest if yes. you don't take the time to do it for yes yourself. and you know that's 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 funny you should say that um the main thing a lot of our clients say mm -hmm. when they come they don't have time that's why a lot of times you see me even on their way out i'm showing them some quick way to exercise mm -hmm. some quick way to get something in them that's, that's going to help them um, you can run all day long, but if you don't take care of that temple, I mean, and I'm not just, like I said earlier, it's not about, oh, I'm going to do everything at one time. You can't. Don't disrupt yourself. You have to do things gradually and yeah. subtly because those little small, subtle things equates to larger things, significant things, you know, going forward. But you just little small things to say, okay, I did do X, Y, Z today. Mm -hmm. Instead of running around to, you know, everything else and, and take care for myself today, I did X, Y, Z. For myself today, I had a good, quiet time. Um, okay, for myself today, I was able to get in 15, 20 minutes of walking. I did get some exercise. Um, I did do some sit-ups. I did eat well. Oh, I drank a smoothie instead of eating the donuts that I wanted to eat from the Krispy Kreme. <laughs> That's another whole conversation that passed by the sign. We'll talk about that some more. <laughs> Um, and then it turns into like a little ritual. Yes. For you. Yes. Like I have morning rituals. Yes. And then it becomes second nature. It's just like yes. brushing your teeth. Exactly. And if I honestly, like I said, if you want to see the monster come out of me, be inside of that quiet time. <laughs> just, mm -hmm. just, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to say I'm rude with it. I'll just keep walking away from you. Yeah. You know, because sometimes you have like house guests mm -hmm. and you're finding that you're, you know, you're welcome. I'm glad everybody's there and we're happy. But, you know, you already know that that's that crazy side of me that just needs to just give me an hour. Just leave me alone. Just nothing. Um, if I run over that, I'm moving. I'm being productive. I'm moving around, but I still don't want to talk. I'm still in my head. That's the word that I always say. I'm mm -hmm. in my head. And for me, 
it's good when I'm in my head because I'm organizing things. Yeah. I'm organizing things. And my mouth is closed. You know, there are some weekends, oh, it's great. I detox from my phone. Mm -hmm. I know you do because I've seen your little prompter thing. Um, I detox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like my little focuses, yeah. And I said, well, I'm not going gonna, gonna to text her back right now because she's, you know, occupied. But then it's like, well, i got to answer her. And then you, you, you contact me back. And it's like, send me, send me. And it's like, fuck. Well, she had that thing on, and now I got busy on something else, and I forgot yeah. to go back to it. <clears throat> but the funny thing is, I ended up, um, a lot of times you have people, it's like, I'm, I'll just keep moving. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I know I look relaxed sitting there with my coffee, mm -hmm. but I don't want somebody sitting there with me while I'm relaxed. With yeah, my you know? it's just. Yeah, I've experienced it, I that. So irritating. Okay, so it's not just me. No, like, that's why I wanted. To, crazy. There you go. So it's not just me. Mm -hmm. I was trying to because I was trying to find a delicate way to put it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say it just that brings out the monster in me, but it kind of does irk me. Yeah. Because if you know me, you know this is what I do. Mm -hmm. In the morning, it's quiet. I'm, I'm in my head. You know, that's my prayer med meditation time. That's my organize my thought time. That's my get myself together so that I can be pleasant. Yeah. You know, when I, I do come out, mm -hmm. because I've had a chance to sleep, to get up, and move at my own pace. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's in that time, um, it might be misconstrued as being rude when I'm not talking to you and you're talking at me. I'm not, I know, I I'm not saying it where I'm I talking do. at me because I'm not ready to talk. And the worst is if somebody like asks me something, like asks me a question. And you have to think about the answer. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I just Or like up. wants to tell me a story or about like the dream they had. <laughs> I'm like, just ten more minutes. <laughs> but I can't like it. Right. Physically, I get so upset. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's too. This soon. is wonderful because yeah. I was on eggshells explaining that um, I didn't want to come. But I, 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 okay. So you understand that that mm -hmm. quiet time is very important. important. It sets the pace for your day. Mm -hmm. It it absolutely sets the pace for your day. Mm -hmm. So um, some ways to get quiet time. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of people say that. <laughs> they'll put their phone on airplane mode. Like, they don't even sign up for the notifications. It's just like, my phone has no Wi-Fi right now. Like, you can't get to me. So, like, a digital detox. Yeah, I love that. I love I that. I think. Um, I think having, like, a like something to drink. I don't know. I right. feel like they kind of go hand in hand. Right, like, right. Something... To make it like enjoyable, like right. not just sitting there, right? Because I think some people, even if they need quiet time, they don't, they know don't how. take it because they're I'm gonna get bored or whatever. So that like, makes sense. Yeah. So journaling, yeah, journaling, journaling is one. Something to drink. Um, coffee or tea or lemon water. Yeah. In the morning, that's mm -hmm. another. Um, what I have? Okay, the prayer med prayer meditation time. And then get some exercise, go for a walk. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. Go for a walk. Yeah. Even if a person doesn't drink coffee or tea, that lemon water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And go for a walk. Yeah. Because that walk is not only getting, you know, you're getting exercise to help your health, you're getting exercise to help your mental health yeah. as well. You know, not just your physical, but your mental mm -hmm. as well. And, and I'm, I'm a big fan for walking because that's the way to get a full body workout, your cardio and everything, um, doing what you normally do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I like that. So, uh, oh, we were talking about the wellness journals. Well, I'll get into that. We've got some more into print. <laughs> We've got some more into print. I dare not show you mine, my customized wellness journal. I'm not going to open the pages because then you'll see how I write all across. What I will say about this, though, when we're talking about writing the wellness journals, um, it's done in a binder form mm -hmm. so that um, even with these, like, um, our complete wellness with sending scripts. If somebody wants to get the transcript, put it in, have it for their notes for the wellness journal, they can. Mm -hmm. You can add pages into it as well, but um, there it is. But mine, like I said, don't judge it by mine. I'll let you see the beautiful ones whenever they come. <laughs> but they're customized, so like Shamani's would have her name on it. And then Tom Cat, no, who's a busy woman, so Tom, Tamina, Tamina Cat. Hers, you know, she would have, um, her name on hers as well. 
so we've got some, some good takeaways, I think. We've got some good takeaways um, about that quiet time, and I definitely want to encourage people to do that because, again, you know, um, part of our problem is, as ladies, we don't set aside time for yeah. self-care. And these seem like just like, you know, uh, common conversations, but this is self-care. This is a part of your holistic living, your holistic um, wellness for your personalized self-care. You have to take time to take care of yourself. And so, um, you know, the quiet time is important because it allows you to recalibrate, calms your mind and your body, reduces stress and anxiety, allows you, um, you know, to get like a mental reset as well, um, plan your day, organize your thoughts, and just have mental clarity. You'll be more productive. Your relationships will be better. A lot of things happen in that little small window of quiet time. So if you can't just really, you know, set aside hours for quiet time, at least try to set aside 30 minutes. Now me, I need a little more. Yeah. You know, I, I, I need a little more and I demand a little more. I don't care what's going on. I know what it takes for me to be at my best. Right. You know, so um, that's what I, I, I try to do. But I have enjoyed you. You got anything to add? Um, to the importance of... Uh, I think Quite even time. if you wanted to do it at night, because I know we're talking about the morning and that's going to be mine, but even at night, like, journal before you go to bed and the digital detox before you're going to sleep can help with better sleep. So I think And get the can, phone out of your bed. Yeah. I think it's something with energy currents. Yeah. Do you notice those people are, uh, that's another whole conversation. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to talk about digital detox next time. Okay. That's another whole conversation. Yeah. With that vibration in the bed, all those currents, people, okay, we're not going to go there. We're not going to go, the blue light, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, right close and, and energy, and everything. Oh, that's another conversation. Yeah. I have to write that down. We'll talk about that next time. <laughs> okay. We'll be back. Have a happy, holistically healthy day. Peace, blessings, joy, and soul. <laughs>